Hello, everybody. Dennis Gebhardt here with Guru Nation, welcoming you to another episode of The Chat, along with my teaching partner, Max Marciano. Max, how are you, brother? Hey, I'm doing pretty good, Dennis. How are you? Happy happy Sunday, man. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. You're back. With a finger wag. Do you realize today is National Puppy Day? Uh, Did you know that? National, every day is <laughs> National Puppy Day at my house. Oh, yeah. I love my pups. Well, of course, they're grown now, but uh, I still love them. They're like pups to me anyway. Yeah. But uh, so anyway, here we are. We, uh, we've been a little bit uh, tardy on getting back on social media because we've been busy with so many other things going on. But uh, True story. Uh, good to be back with everybody who's watching us today. If you're watching us on YouTube, thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed to our program, please uh Check down below so you'll get notification whenever we uh, whenever we drop a new video here on the YouTube channel, and uh, that way we'll keep you up to date with uh, what we're talking about. For those of you that are visiting with us for the first time, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about our company. We are a non-branded, uh, brand-neutral company, educational company. Um, Hair color is our main focus, but we also focus on hair design and other chemical services, along with, um, you know, strategies to help you improve your business in the salon. So we have a, quite a portfolio of things to choose from. But basically, for us, it's about empowering you, the hairdresser. Um, we don't believe there's any magic in any product. Uh, if it's used properly, the magic comes from the person who knows how to use it. Uh, I'm sure you learned that when you were learning to use a round brush, right, Max? <clears throat> First round brush it was like, what the Ooh. heck am I doing here? And then yeah, uh, I had to cut it out of my you, client's hair. Yeah, they taught you some of the skills and you said, okay, I think I can do this now. So <clears throat> today we want to talk about hair color as we normally do here on the chat. And, um, you know, so Max, I got a question for you today. Um, mm -hmm. do you like fast food? You know, that's a, that's kind of a loaded question because, you know, it's fast food, you know, it, it is, it, it's sometimes you're in a pinch and you gotta have oh, yeah. some fast food. Yeah. Don't, is don't it, you think it comes with a set of expectations usually? Yeah. Yeah. Lowered yeah. expectations typically. Yeah. Yeah, like what? What would you think? What would be if if I'm eating fast food? What are my expectations of it? I mean, tell me Probably, what yours are. <laughs> what I would say is it's not that nutritious, but it gets the job done. It's probably not a five star meal, but it is edible. It tastes okay, and sometimes right. you know, like Taco Bell. It tastes really good. Yeah. Um, but it's, you know, it still has that, just that general expectation. It's fast food. It's right. not a five star, six course meal. It's right. Fast food. Yeah. So you, go, you pick it up, they put it in a bag, and you, you eat it while you're driving or whatever, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, it's not prepared to your specifications. You know, I, it's not, um, you know, pretty much if you get a burger, uh, they're pretty much all the same. They cook them the same. Yeah. So no, there's a, everything is the same. It's all the same. It's duplication. Right. And, um, and so those and consistency. Of, that, it is consistency and duplication. So as long as it's duplicated over and over and over again, at least 99 times out of 100, the duplications are good, or at least 90 out of 100, maybe even eight, only 85% success, I would say they actually accept that as well. There are times when you get, you know, your French fries, you get the bottom of the French fry barrel, or you get, right. you know, you're, it's just the craziness. They see, I say, well, why am I talking about this? So let me get on to what we're discussing today, because in hair color, it seems like we're moving into the world of fast food. You know, it's how, how fast can you get it done? How right. fast can it happen for you? And, you know, 
one of the things that has really raised its ugly head again in our industry, and, and the great thing is, the great thing for me, because I, I don't use this type of product, but the great thing is, is that people are noticing now. They're noticing that it doesn't meet expectations. And so um, for those of you watching, we did some die outs and comparisons. And what we're talking about here, of course, is 10 minute hair color and rapid toners. So uh, Max, I'm gonna pop the next slide up here. And um, because you did the testing, I'm just gonna have you walk me through this today. And then if I have a couple of comments with your permission, I'll, I'll, I'll chime in. Otherwise, we'll just move through the information. So all right. uh, it's all, all yours, my friend, here we go. So this is all about demystifying express hair color products and uh, you know I don't know what it's been recently but this has kind of um, popped up with some of our students as well as uh, seeing some some different comments on um, social as well so I thought this was a good time since you know we had talked in earlier chats about you know alkalizers dye intermediates we've kind of already set up a, a bit about the chemistry and how these things work, you know, this was a, this was a good place to, to drop right. this little nugget in. So yeah, absolutely. If we, move, if we move into the next slide, I think the first thing that we really need to talk about when we talk about these products is dye development and especially what is considered maximum dye development. You can see here in the visual, you have, a tube of hair color, a bottle of developer. You gotta have both of these components in order to get dye development. Now in a nutshell, what happens is when you combine the color in the tube with the developer, it takes basically these two main parts of the tube of hair color. There's two components that really go into creating what we would call a, a completed dye molecule. And that is what we call a primary and another thing is called a coupler. So in that tube of hair color, there's all of these individual pieces of these things. There's a bunch of primaries and a bunch of couplers. And they literally don't have any color until right. developers added to them. And, you know, like, in a nutshell, what happens is once that developer is added, those primaries and couplers become attracted to each other, almost like a bunch of magnets. They start to move together and they actually couple, hence the name coupler, meaning they start to join together and they form bigger structures. And they also, at the same time, as they're inflating to become a bigger structure, so that they become trapped in the hair. They're also changing in color or developing. And at the end of the processing time, you go from, you know, this uncolored cream that you mix with developer and put onto the hair to a colored mixture that pushes color into the hair. Does that right. make sense so far? Oh. Yeah, sort of like going to the high school dance, right? You're single when you go to the high school dance, and then you meet somebody, so you start coupling, and yeah. then you find other friends who are coupling, and you kind of all couple together, and as you start setting around the table, you get the ta you, there's more of you and more of you, sort of like that, right? Yeah. To break yeah, it down exactly. to a, a basic metaphor. <laughs> Everybody think about coloring hair is like going yeah. to a high school dance. So right. uh, let's go on to the next slide. <laughs> so when we, when we talk about maximum dye development in permanent hair color, typically, well, let me pump my brakes for a minute and just say, mostly in our industry, if you look at any manufacturer shade chart for permanent hair color, those swatches are showing you a representation of that permanent hair color applied to white hair and processed 
for up to 45 minutes. 20 volume is the industry standard for testing of permanent hair color to show maximum dye development in a swatch chart, okay? Right. So anybody can do whatever they want as far as timing. And manufacturers can tend to get a little loosey-goosey. It can say up to 35 minutes or 30 to 45 minutes or up to 45 minutes. But typically across the board, if you talk to any hair color chemist, they're gonna tell you the way they set a benchmark for a shade of permanent hair color, not necessarily high lips, just permanent hair color levels one through 10. Right. It, it gets dyed out on 100% white hair, that shade, 20 volume, 45 minutes. Because basically after that 45 minute window, there's, there's really nothing left to develop. So this is giving you the darkest, yeah, just you could go a tiny yeah. scotch more, but, yeah. but it's negligible, yeah. right? Dep depends on what kind of imagination you have. Right. So, so the swatches you see uh, <laughs> up on the presentation, they all started as white hair. I used uh, just a traditional permanent 6N dark blonde with 20 volume. I applied it to all four swatches. At 10 minutes, I took one off. At 20 minutes, I took the next one off. At 30 minutes, I took the next one off. And at 45, I took that off. So you can see, even after 10 minutes, there's some dye development. After 20 that's, minutes. That's cool. Yeah, right? 20 minutes, yes. there's a little bit more. 30 minutes, a little bit more. And then at 45, we're pretty maxed out. Right. So that's with permanent hair color. So I, I want to take this a step further and also demonstrate this with a demi permanent color. Now this is like a level eight uh, copper gold demi permanent liquid hair color. And I have applied this to bleached hair this time. And you can see at 10 minutes, I got some deposit. At 15, I got more. And at 20, I got maximum, which is what the manufacturer's swatch actually looks like. Is that okay? Time time out. Yes. Define what you're what you're saying is you're getting maximum dye development. This is not a progressive dye, correct? Uh, yes. That well, and that's <laughs> a word that that also gets thrown around a lot that um, makes products sound bad. It's yes. these, you know, like we could we could do a whole thing on progressive dyes. But mm -hmm. the thing you guys need to keep in mind is that progressive dyes are just a certain type of dye that is not exactly. really common in our industry. It's not really at all in our industry as far as I know. No, no, no. So unless they have a say, henna, unless they have a henna product where they put metallics in it, but right, there's so there, no, there's no progressive dyes in our industry. Right, right, and, and like the 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 thing that I'm trying to uh, drive home with these two sets of swatches is, yes, these swatches are getting darker as they are going through their development time, but I'm not developing them past their development time. I'm developing them to their full recommended development time. If I wanted a lighter result, then that's not the shade for me. Right. You know, so <laughs> we, so that's the first thing. Like I, what I'm trying to demo for everyone here is there is a, there is a start to the process and an end to the process. So you start with uncolored hair, you end with colored hair. And depending on how long you process it, you either can partially color the hair or essentially fully color the hair. Right. Right? Right. So, okay, so time out again. Yes, yes. Industry-wide, what do you think the most common processing people are doing 
of demi permanent colors. Are they processing them to uh, maximum dye development, or would you venture? To, would you would you lay money that they are under processing under processing most of the demi colors that are used in the industry today? Absolutely under processing. Absolutely, and yeah. and uh, and a lot of times, you know, like there is this, you know, a a, a famous shadow root formula for mm -hmm. you know for a like a after you've hair painted a dark client and they've got a little too much warmth up here because that's kind of one of the pitfalls of balayage or hair painting on dark hair. And it is to take like a level five hair color and process it for just a few minutes, mm -hmm. level five demi-permanent and just process it for a few minutes because it gets too dark too quick, but it, it somehow <laughs> knocks all that warmth out for that time being. Yeah. So till when till Wednesday. If they do yeah. it on Saturday, it knocks it out exactly. till Wednesday. Exactly. So the other thing too about dye development. So now that you guys kind of see what dye development looks like, right? The other thing you have to know is is that that process of coupling and developing or growing, you know, like you, you talk about your children developing as they get older, the dyes develop into the hair as the time progresses. If you cut that cycle short, you don't have full or maximum dye development. Right. Meaning the, those two pieces, the primaries and the couplers, they're not coupled all that firmly. No, either. you put them together with scotch tape. Right. <laughs> so, so this they're is not, another thing to keep in mind. They're not soldered together. <laughs> you know, at even just looking at these two swatches, if I threw that color on, you know, her bleached hair at ten minutes and let and took it off at ten minutes, yeah, she's got a result, but she's not going to get what she would get at 20 minutes and the durability between the two is going to be markedly different because yeah. at, your, at 20 minutes, that's what you're supposed to get as opposed to throwing something on and processing it for 10 minutes. Yeah, you get the color you want maybe at that time, but the durability will be in question because you haven't actually given those, those pieces of primaries and couplers enough time to do what they're supposed to do so that they stay stable in the hair. Right. right. And, so and that's the... Go ahead. I was going to say, so here's the scenario. Social media, make a post, show this hair color. They say, I used blank uh, shade number 8V, whatever, right? That's all they say. Very general, very vague. They may have used 8V for 20 minutes, but the person who reads that formula says, oh, 8V, well, it's a toner, so I'm going to tone for five minutes. That's all I ever do. They're both going to come out with two different results, and the person who didn't understand that they were under-processing their toner, they may not like that color. They may go, oh, that color stinks. Right. And, and that's why I say, like, when someone says, well, I love it when it's at 10 minutes or five minutes. And I go, love what? You don't have a spectrophotometer in your head. You cannot see. This, this is not the color as it was designed. You're taking half a color and you're accepting that. It's already faded, actually, 50% faded. And that's the color you're going to get, which will last temporarily. See how confusing that is? And sure, it's why sure. people come out with all these different results that they're not happy with because they don't realize that they need to tell people if you're only processing for five minutes, that you're not going to get longevity out of it. Right. Crazy. So what, what we are basically, the moral of the story is with permanent hair color or dummy permanent hair color, the actual longevity and durability of your hair color result 
is directly relevant to your processing time. Ooh, I the like longer that. you the Say longer you develop it. <laughs> so the longevity and durability of your hair color result is directly related to the degree of processing time. I love it. That's the truth. So you could get that 10 minute result with a different formula and still process it for 20 minutes as mm -hmm. opposed to taking something that's maybe too dark and under processing it to get what you want. You know, they're, they're just going to be a little bit like apples and oranges. Right. One's going to hold one's probably going to fade really quick. And you guys, yeah. if, if this is how you're doing it and it's working for you, great. We just want to give you the actual science behind what's going on. So let's, let's start in. First off, rapid toners. So these have really made an emergence in the last, I'd say, what, seven, eight years, right? Oh, yeah, because we don't have time. Right? Everybody's in yeah. a hurry. Yeah. You know, uh, I've heard them called rapid toners. I've heard them called flash toners. Um, in fact, when oh, well. I worked for a big, big brand uh, many years ago, like in the, uh, I would say it was even in the mid 90s, we had a product. It was the same thing. It was called Color Flash. And it was, yeah. a, it was like a five minute rapid toner. It's, um, all, it's all aesthetics. They call it yeah. that. You know, it's like, it's all aesthetics. <laughs> Just, it's funny. Yeah. So we have, again, same formula, which was just a natural, it was literally called natural block. Rapid toner mm -hmm. says, do not exceed five minute processing time. Of course, I had to exceed it because I wanted to see what it did. So these, right. these swatches started out as like a level nine yellow bleach out. And you can see after five minutes, you've got a really nice natural blonde end result. Right. But then look what happens after 15 minutes. And look what happens after 30 minutes. Now, again, mm. you guys, this, this is not progressive dye technology. This is, <laughs> there's, you know, I, I know I always say this, the first permanent hair color was invented over a hundred years ago. The way hair color is today, pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. So here we see, if you left your rapid toner on longer than the recommended development time, we see our end result gets darker. And the new term for that in 2022 is overtoning. Yes. <laughs> That means if your color just went, you know, your color went darker than you expected it to. You didn't overtone the hair. You went to full dye development. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. We come up with these words. When we don't have a word to describe it, we make one up. Well, and it's like, it's whether or not we really understand the process that's happening. Exactly. You know, and that's the thing. It's, it's, it's like, here we are, you know, here we are. justifying it. So this is, so here's an example, rapid toner. It gets darker the longer you leave it on. And then it actually peaks out at a certain point. You'll exactly. get, even though it's a rapid toner, you'll get maximum dye development at a certain time. And I've used these rapid toners and I found that they don't, they don't last, but I never put it together that this is probably just, you know, a color in that color category that you're under processing it. Right. But Here, we, we have more examples. Here's why they made rapid toners. First of all, because they saw a flaw in what hairdressers were doing, that they were under processing their demi permanent colors at the shampoo bowl. So they said, we'll make rapid toners which are, this is how a rapid toner is made. And that way, if they under process it, at least they'll probably get a little bit more longevity out of it because we made a darker shade that they under process. 
rather than giving them a shade at that specific level. That is why we made rapid toners because we knew hairdressers only processed their toners at the shampoo bowl for five minutes. And God forgive me, it's like, I, sometimes they only do, like I've seen them on social media, uh, one minute, one minute and 10 seconds, you have to process this toner. Well, <laughs> unless you're using a hair color bottle and you're just squirting that stuff all over the head. And when I see them do that and I see them squeeze it together, they're pulling, they're not saturating the hair successfully. And that's why your toners come out with highs and lows. And of course that's called uneven color, but in the creative world, we call it dimension. <laughs> it's insane. So I'll go on to your next slide. All, All right. right, I had to be on my soapbox for just a minute. So also in, in these product categories, these express, um, hair colors, there's also been a lot of, as of late, permanent hair color that yeah. is processed in about 10 minutes. Right. And again, to put this to the test, I took, um, actually did two shades of the 10 minute permanent hair color and swatched it out on 100% white hair. And the first one was a, supposed to be a light beige blonde. So like a probably a level um, nine beige, whatever this company's definition of beige is. So you yeah. can see after 10 minutes, it's a, it's a pretty decent color. It's light, yeah. it's beige, and it's blonde. Right. Well, what happens after 20? And what happens after 45? And as you can see, the same thing is occurring. Yeah, and it starts to drift. The tone tonality yeah. starts to drift. Oh, it's the, the the tone is really different than the, the advertised end result after that 10 minute processing time. But we also know, and, and like that's the thing. It's like I've also been kind of jumping on the uh, like on these different brands, their websites about this particular product and their frequently asked questions. And a lot there's a lot of if I'm a slow applier you know, and I can't get it on quickly, what should I do? And they're always like, apply to the back first, you know, and I'm thinking in my head, because they're thinking no one's going to see it if it gets deeper, and then apply <laughs> to the front last. And make sure, this was the other part that I thought was really interesting on two of these product websites. It was like, make sure they don't have more than a quarter inch of new growth ah. for, for best results. So there's a lot of caveats that go into these these uh, right. particular products, and right. I know and I know a lot of hairdressers that like like them that that use these as kind of like an in between express service, and that's again that's fine. We are just literally trying to give you guys the science behind it. You bet. So this is this is ten minute color with a light shade. I did the same thing with a deeper shade because I wanted to sort of compare the two. And again, light brown, light natural brown, probably about supposed to be like a level five. After 10 minutes, I think that is a very nice light natural brown. But then we, at 20 minutes, we get a little deeper. And at 45, we get a little deeper. You know, this shade didn't have as much sort of contrast between the levels but it's definitely deeper than a level five at 45 minutes. Yes, absolutely. So, what is the moral of the story? <laughs> da -da 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 -da. But, but before we get there, here's like, these were the two, and again, I think I already said this, but these were the two uh, most common frequently asked questions. What are the color results like if used for more than 10 minutes? What happens if I take longer than 10 minutes to apply? So, and the, um, well, I actually have a, a little printout here with some, some answers from the manufacturer. So we're going to, we're going to bring this out and um, we're, we're going to talk about it real fast. Okay. So. What are the color results like if used for more than 10 minutes? 
lose track of time and accidentally leave your client processing a few minutes too long, no need to fear. Our proprietary technology helps to prevent overprocessing. <laughs> Color results will be virtually the same between 10 and 15 minutes. We recommend you remove after no longer than 15 minutes. What is really funny about this answer is it's not really an answer. No, it's a statement. Nowhere, and nowhere was that question actually answered. Right. So we'll go on to the next one to check. Um, what happens if I take longer than 10 minutes to apply? For stylists who do slower applications, we recommend the following four tips. Apply the color on the hair with the higher percentage of white first. If you take 10 minutes to apply, only process the color for five minutes after complete application. Apply the color in quadrants, begin at the nape and work from the back two quadrants to the front two quadrants. Once the back quadrants are complete, set your timer for 10 minutes and continue with the application of the two front quadrants. The difference between the two, two quadrants will be five minutes, but each half of the head will be processed for 10 minutes. This will ensure a more uniform color result. Apply this product with a bottle. Its formula allows for express application. I'm already having a panic attack from all these different rules about how I should apply this. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm definitely more of the set it and forget it ilk of hairdresser. I like to put my color on, whether it's a touch up or my toner or my melt. And I wanna, I'm gonna formulate it so I can walk away from it and just process it the full development time. I know what I'm gonna get. I don't have to worry about it getting too dark. I don't have to worry about it not being dark enough. And I can I can start Amen. wherever I need to start. Amen. So and you're in control. Yeah. And you're in this control. does not this this process, you know. I mean, if you really listen to these answers, it's like, yeah, okay, this is kind of a this can this could be a tricky situation. Oh, it could be very complicated. And, yeah. you know, imagine trying to cover gray hair in five minutes. Yeah. It'd be one thing if it stopped processing at five minutes. Right. But clearly, the it evidence doesn't. shows otherwise. Absolutely. So now, as we're kind of bringing it all home, what's the moral of the story? Hair color... Oh. Yeah. Is the hair color. That's right. And if we were giving it a score of one to 10, Dennis would probably give it a score of three. I can't speak to it because I don't use it. I have no place for it for me. If you use it, that's great. But I can't do anything in 10 minutes while a client is processing. I need a 30 minute window so that I can be applying another color or I can be sure. doing a haircut, or I can be doing a styling. You know, I need that. I need to know that those windows, it, it helps in managing your day. I, I, I have such a difficult time in understanding, unless you only do one client at a time, how a 10 minute color would work for you. Because um, I don't, I do, I work on two people at a time now. Before that, I would do three at a time. When I had assistants, I would do three and four people at a time. <laughs> so uh, those were the days. Yes. But now since COVID, you know, we do about, we work on two people at a time. We, we're doing that in the salon. We double book. Um, mm -hmm. so, so for me, I want to take advantage of every hour that I'm in the salon because, you know, the more productive I am during every hour, the more revenue I generate. And so if I have to just put that on and wait 10 minutes and then I have to take it down, that person's going to eat up a whole 90 minutes of my time where I can't do anything else. I am locked into that one client. Sure. You know, so, but 
in any case, it is. Color is color. I mean, you've seen these on the slides. You've seen that even permanent hair color will give you a deposit in 10 minutes. And we told people that for years. We go, right. it's not a big deal, you know, uh, but you don't get maximum color development. That's all. And, and you can yeah. choose to do that. Many people, I am going to tell you right now, this weekend, there were at least over a thousand hairdressers that under process their colors. <laughs> and it's okay because if that's what you like and if that's what your clients accept and they come back to you and they pay you money for your service, who are we to tell you you're wrong? That's, All we want you to do is be clear eyed on actually what is happening. Right. You know, right. you're, if, it's like the fast food versus getting good getting what I call good food because my wife yeah. and I are foodies, right? I mean, I never expect fast food to be the best food I've ever had in my life. It's stuff you grab on the go and it satisfies Listen. you for the moment. And I think a lot of times that's what happens. There's different levels, right? Yeah. You can get you can get a McRib. Yeah. Or you can go you can go to Outback or you could go to Morton. Yeah. Get some kind of steak at all of them. Right. But each one's going to be a little bit different or right. a lot different. And the expectations that go with it as well. And that's all exactly. what, that's all we're trying to communicate with you guys. Yeah. And give you the science yeah. behind the product. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Max, I, this has really been fun, my friend. Uh, Yes. I've enjoyed yeah, this. And uh, thank you so much for doing the testing. I really appreciated that. And uh, yes. thank you all for watching. Remember that, uh, as I said in the beginning, if you are a subscriber on YouTube, where we usually we usually release these on YouTube first. Uh, thank you so much for, you know, following us and your support. You can also contact Max and I on Instagram. You can follow us. You can follow Max at Max M. Hare. You can follow me at Real Captain Color. I invite you to visit our website, which is gurunation.net. And uh, if you have an issue uh, accessing our educational catalog, like a lot of people do, is because people don't know what emptying your cookies or cleaning your cash are, I'm gonna give you a link right now that you can do this on your device anywhere you are and it will connect you. And it is link, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E -E forward slash Real Captain Color. It will take you to a page. You'll see my picture. You can access our educational catalog. And you don't have to worry about clearing your cookies or any of that nonsense. And it will take you there. Um, We've got lots of education coming up this next month. Um, Max and I have a program on the 18th of April. We call it our double header, double header. We are doing check your background, which is all about uh, what we call the holy trinity of hair color, background, tone, and reflex. And along with that, we're also doing, um, oh my God, my brain just melted, Max, because I don't have the slides in front of me. Hair color is cool. Part, well, we're doing hair color school, yes, but we're doing a double header, so we're uh, we're doing. Oh, check, check your background and um, desaturation. Desaturation dilution. versus dilution. Yeah, uh, a lot of sorry. people doing giving off information about those two things. We want to make it clear for you, so you totally understand that. Uh, hair color school uh, summer session starts June the fifth. It is up on our educational catalog. So uh, please uh, reach out to us. Uh, we welcome any comments, any, uh, any ideas, you know, any feedback you want to share with us. Our total goal is to help you become more successful as a salon professional by empowering you with accurate, science-based, factual information. So, Max, this one's been good. As Thank always, you, my friend, for sharing the time with me. Thank you all for you watching. You and as always, from my heart to yours, I am Captain Color. I'm out. Max, how about you? I'm out too. 
Bye, everyone. See you all. Take care. Bye-bye.